I mean, that is just a beautiful turtle any way you put it. All right, guys, this week's video is a bit of a hodgepodge. It's from several trips out, uh, herping and looking for turtles. Uh, the last couple weeks, we've had overnights in the low 40s, so every single day I would go out, there would be kind of some lag time in uh, finding the first turtles and then finding you know, basically the total amount that I would end up seeing. So uh, each day was low numbers, so I ended up having to go every single day, each day of the week, uh, which isn't bad. I'm not complaining, uh, but it is why this video does kind of hop around a little bit. So just sit back and enjoy. North Georgia, striped neck moss turtle. You can see the stripes, that's what they get their name from. Back where I found them, by this rock. Watch them have fun disappearing into the clear river. Eastern hognose. This is so awesome. Perfect Eastern hognose. Found by Sarah, good job Sarah. Shout out me. So after looking for turtles, I met up with my friend Sarah and came to this WMA and she ended up locking her keys in her car. Had a lot of time to kill. Guy got the keys out. First place we looked in all this uh, kind of dry bramble, she finds an Eastern hognose. So pretty stoked on that. Really awesome. Great looking Eastern hognose. This is probably the coolest behavior as far as like handling an eastern hog nose. I've never had one do this. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? That's my face, bro. What's up, man? How you doing? You just cruising out here? Me too. Whee! It's <laughs> my fake cobra. Over here has something I've not really seen here before, and that is a copperhead swimming across the creek. It's over here by this rock. That is a pretty copperhead. Nice colors. Really pretty snake. Making his way across the creek. Very, very nice. Classic copperhead pattern. All right, first turtle of the day is a little stink pot up for air right there. Right in the center of the screen is a tiny little stink pot. Let's see if we can, uh, see if we can get him in hand. Come here, buddy. There you go. Common musk turtle, also known as a stink pot. It's got a lot of pattern on his face. A lot of the ones from here, I've noticed, they have um, a lot of extra pattern around the mouth. It's really pretty. Uh, normally they're just, you know, black with the stripes. He's got a little bit, a little bit of extra there. So, all right, I'm gonna let him go. Adios, little fella. Now, this particular stream is really good for loggerheads. Uh, this is one of the places where, if I feel like I need to see a loggerhead, I'll usually come here. Uh, just because it's got a really good population and a lot of really old ones. A lot of times the ones I'll see here will be really big and really old, uh, have huge heads. Uh, it's just really cool. Here's a fish, actually, while I'm in the middle of talking. Fish that's been eaten on. Um, see if he's alive. No, I don't think he's alive. All right, so this is a washboard mussel. It's one of the bigger mussels that you're going to find in here. 
And this one is only about half grown though. <coughs> ah, a bug flew in my mouth. Ugh. These will actually get about twice this size. So this is a very young one. So, uh, But this one will never get bigger than this. Here, got a musk turtle. Looks like a uh, loggerhead musk. There he goes. <laughs> He's gone. Hey, right. I don't know if my phone got the initial capture. I was actually walking, and this girl just kind of came out of the woods into the creek right behind me. So, uh, pretty neat find. Good sized female common snapper. Uh, she's <laughs> she's really heavy for for her size. So I'm gonna actually let her go back in the creek right here gonna be defensive she's gonna come right past my feet and we'll just kind of follow her out see what she go where she goes and what she does um, that's about the normal size I would say for a common snapper in this area um, there are a lot of alligator snappers here and that's actually why I was here because this is one of the better spots for them but uh, because there is a lake on the other side of the road a lot of times when you get lakes and ponds near uh, creeks and streams, you'll end up with both common and alligator snappers because the commons like to utilize both. Uh, but I've seen places where if alligator snappers find them, they will eat them. So she's an older girl with a lot of years on her, so pretty good find. All right, checking out a couple new spots today. Uh, this one is a spot I haven't really been to before. Um, Really clean water, nice and uh, shallow and clear. Out here when I first walked down, there was a bunch of basking cooters. I can kind of see them through the water, so I'm gonna see if I can make it over to them and see if I can get one in hand. All right, just captured a beautiful Eastern River cooter. This, this little girl was uh, scurrying across the bottom. Um, absolutely beautiful. Check out those orange reticulations. Uh, beautiful color to the eyes. Uh, marked plastron. I mean, that is just a beautiful turtle any way you put it. Really, really awesome. What a gorgeous animal. What happens when you find the right spot? You get two. <laughs> Got two of them in hand. They were like right next to each other. I actually stepped on the second one. Didn't step on it hard, uh, but I was like, something's moving under my foot. And I pulled my foot away and a, uh, this turtle got right under me. So I'm gonna let this one go and uh, keep going. All right, so I just got my hands on this beautiful young male. Uh, you can tell he's a male because he has those long claws. You can see it coming out from those beautiful orange stripes on his legs. And then he has a longer tail than a female does. And the males tend to be a little bit smaller, a little bit lower, uh, and they just cut through the water, almost like a soft shell turtle. So male river cooter, really, really awesome. So yeah, the Eastern River Cooter is one of my favorite turtles. Obviously, I'm partial to them because I do have some at my house, but they're just gorgeous turtles. And I think because they're ultra common, they're not really appreciated the same way that, you know, some of the map turtles and some of the more rare turtles are. I think they're kind of a victim of being ultra common, but I mean, I would put these in the top 10 most beautiful turtles in the world. And they're just, they're just really something special and something that I think that we should all be kind of proud that these guys live in abundance in our, in our own country and in our own state. Uh, they're just really something, something that's pretty unique because they're a totally uh, herbivorous turtle. They only eat plants and they eat all that little bits of algae and river moss and stuff growing on the bottom. And they actually have adapted inside of their mouth, has things that look like little teeth or stalactites. And that's for just chewing through vegetation and just digesting all that stuff up and they'll just graze all day and then go bask and graze and that's why they're often seen you know lined up on logs by the dozens so we're gonna let this girl go and good luck <laughs> swimming off and then the male is actually right under here so yeah this is the male as you can see much lower profile than the female has like much wider towards the rear and you can see those gorgeous turquoise blue eyes. They probably have the prettiest eyes of any turtle. I would I'd put, put my money on that for sure. And that shell pattern is just awesome too. 
So we're gonna let this guy go as well. And thanks for stopping by, homie. This is actually a really cool scenic spot. It's got like an old mill and uh, like an old dam. Pretty cool. It's always neat to be around all these places that, that have history going back, you know, over a hundred years. Gives it a little a bit of a backdrop. All right, first musk turtle right here. Common musk turtle, also known as a stink pot, coming up for air right here. Just saw this guy creeping along the bottom. Let's see if we can get him in hand. Come here, buddy. Yep, common musk turtle. Easily identified by the stripes on the face. This is a uh, adult female. So we'll let her uh, go back to crawling along the bottom. All right, so I am back at it. Uh, today it's a little chilly. It got into the lower 40s last night, so things are a little bit slow to come out today. But I'm on a small stream, but it's one of my favorites. It has a lot of these cool little snags and uh, it's just a lot of uh, mollusks and crustaceans. Uh, it's really good for loggerhead musks. I've also caught uh, striped mud turtles in here, soft-shelled turtles, cooters, uh, musk turtles, like common musk turtles. So it's a it's a really good stream. I believe there's alligator snapping turtles in here. I've just never caught one in this particular stretch, and this would be probably the farthest north section of this particular stream that I've, I've gotten into. So if I got one here, that would actually be pretty cool. Um, I always like getting uh, little range extensions. Those are always fun. So we'll see what's out. Uh, seeing a lot of activity, just not seeing any turtles yet. I believe this is a uh, hogfish is what they call these. They have like a little sucker mouth. You can barely see them on the bottom there. I'm gonna try and get an underwater shot. Pretty neat fish. They're really abundant in these streams. I'm just gonna leave him as is. That's one of the biggest ones I've actually seen. So that's pretty cool. All right, so I've been walking for a while and not even a loggerhead yet. Uh, usually those are right off the bat in this stream. Uh, one thing I have noticed is a lot of river otters. And when there's a lot of river otters, they tend to kind of kill and eat turtles or kill them for fun. Uh, so they tend to impact turtle populations. And I'm thinking that's possibly a reason why I'm not seeing them. I'm hoping it's just because it was cold last night and they're still not out yet. I'm gonna keep looking a little bit more, uh, but then I'm probably gonna leave and go in a different direction and try another spot. So if I see anything after this, I'll be stoked. All right, first turtle of today is, this is a melanistic male slider. Uh, at this point, it's probably hard to tell whether this is a yellow belly or an invasive red eared slider. Uh, my guess is probably gonna be yellow belly because I'm pretty far out here and it's not likely that uh, any invasive red eared sliders have made it out here. Could be wrong, but for now, I'm just gonna say melanistic slider. And as you can see, I mean, just, he is completely black. Very old guy. Uh, a little bit of a cranky guy too. But I found him kind of hanging out in this little bramble of uh, sticks and stuff. So I'm gonna let him go back in the water. Keep on going. See you later, bud. <laughs> just walked up on this baby cotton mouth. This guy is gorgeous. Look at those colors. Almost looks like a copperhead. And he's vibrating his tail. He's got like a fresh meal in him and he's just gonna take off under that rock. So I'm gonna leave him alone, let him digest that meal. And hopefully I see him again next time I'm out here and I can watch him grow. All right, next turtle right here. Little baby spiny soft shell. Pretty cool. Not gonna bother him, just gonna leave him where he's at. But baby spiny soft shell, always cool to see. Size midland water snake. 
Alright, so right in front of me I have a common snapper kind of buried in some leaf muck. Uh, you can almost see its head sticking up through the, through the mud there on the bottom. I'm going to reach down and pull it out and get a good look at it. Oh, there it is. Oh. It's fighting me. There we go. Looks like a uh, common snapper. And I believe this is the one I got. Let's pull it over here. I believe this is the one I got just just recently so yeah same common snapper this time it was buried in some mud it's got like a nice layer of mud on the top of the shell so yeah that's how these guys hide out during the day is they get up underneath mud and just kind of stick their head up so I'm sorry to pull you out of your mud hole but I know you've got many more I just wanted to kind of illustrate a point and it's already gonna get in and go back pretty much to exactly where it was Again, this is a spot where normally I see alligator snappers, but you normally will some, you'll sometimes see, it's a spot where I normally get alligator snappers, but sometimes you'll see common snappers. Um, especially if there's a lake or a pond nearby, these guys will kind of inhabit the same area. So yeah, and you can see she's not aggressive at all. She's right next to my legs and probably just gonna go right past me gonna take a look and see that I'm standing here but if I walk past her she should she'll get a little bit defensive but you know, once she sees that once she kind of realizes I'm not gonna do anything they really do calm down and become pretty placid they don't want to bite they don't want to get in a scrap or anything there for the most part snapping turtles are really docile in the water you can see all that mud just coming off of her back more or less She'll just go and bury in another spot. Pretty cool to see. Let's see if we can get an underwater shot. Oh, no, it's gonna be too murky. All right, well, we're gonna leave her alone, uh, but I did wanna get to show you that, and that actually worked out pretty good because I did wanna show how snapping turtles do hide in, in muck on the bottom and just kind of stick their head up through little holes. Uh, so that worked out pretty good. It illustrated a point rather well, and Actually, I can see, yeah, she's making her way back towards here. So she'll be back in her hole in no problem, no, t no time, and <laughs> it's no problem and doesn't bother her at all. Uh, snapping turtles really just don't stress out the same way that other reptiles do. Um, I don't recommend harassing them or bothering them too much, but they really are adaptable and can handle, you know, a lot. Uh, she's an apex predator in here and, you know, just kind of runs around doing her thing. So we'll leave her to it. Hopefully she's laid some eggs and there will be many more common snappers to hang out here. So, see you later, friend. All right, here we go. Got a little musk turtle right here moving among these rocks. Let's check this guy out. Nice. It's like a older female loggerhead musk turtle. Kind of uh, looks like she's feeding picking up some clams or some snails in between these rocks. Uh, this is a stretch of creek that I always like to hit when I'm down here. And so far, pretty good. I'm always, I'm always happy to see loggerhead musks. So we're gonna let her go and keep on going. Have a good day. All right, another spot. And as soon as I get down to the water, got a loggerhead right here. Hanging out underwater. Let's take a good look at it. <laughs> Getting away from me. <laughs> oh, that is a nice looking old male loggerhead. Look at that, he's trying to get me. Pretty color. This guy looks really good in the afternoon light. A little bit of damage on the rear of his shell, likely from another male loggerhead. So, pretty neat. Gonna take some pictures of this guy and let him go. So let's go back to his creek. See you later, old man. Be safe, watch out for your buddies. Downstream he goes. All right, 
upstream from that last loggerhead, got another one right here. Just chilling in the middle of the stream. Let's check this one out. Pretty little female. These guys have a nice peachy orange color to them, so that's pretty neat. They're always a little bit different stream to stream. It looks like she's missing an eye, so uh, pretty unique feature to this turtle. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes you find, you know, these older turtles in streams and they'll be missing an eye or a limb or something. I think the police are actually cruising up by my car checking me out. All right, I'm gonna let this little old one-eyed gal go right here and keep moving up this stream. All right, so right here, got two, looks like two musk turtles facing each other. Uh, could be two males. I see them chasing each other upstream. Let me see if I can get a hold of them. Right, I got, got the back one, and here goes this guy. Uh, got the other one. Yep, it is two female loggerheads, so a little odd they were kind of facing off. Usually that's not something females do. Uh, but pretty cool, kind of funny to chase them up the creek. So pretty neat that the loggerheads are out. This is a creek that I usually don't see loggerheads. I usually see striped mud turtles in this one, but it's kind of neat that the loggerheads seem to be taking this one back over. So gonna shoot some photos of these girls and then let them go. All right, so just shot some photos of these two girls. Uh, I post these photos on Flint River Turtles. This is all part of the greater Flint River drainage. Uh, so I'll give a link in the description uh, to the Instagram for Flint River Turtles and you'll be able to see some of the photos I shoot of these guys uh, as I work my way through these creeks. So I'm gonna let them go. You guys take care, set them gently on the bottom where they were, and they're gonna take off running two different directions. <laughs> Loggerhead, right here catch up to it. It's a big one. Got it. Wow, big girl loggerhead right here. Wow, that is an old, ancient female loggerhead. She was just kind of hanging out right here in this little deep area. Look at that, man. Look at that. Look at that big honking head. All right, just like the other one's going to take some pictures and let her go. All right, here we go. Yet again, loggerhead musk turtle. This one's actually foraging. So what this turtle was doing is taking its forelegs and kind of digging out this little area right here, right here in front of it. And what it's getting is, you know, little tiny clams, could be a little snail or something under there. Um, and so it's just digging that up. This one's really beat up. This one has taken a lot of heavy damage from other musk turtles, so. Uh, not real sure why they do that, especially why females do that to each other, but I mean, as you can see, just over time, they will just beat each other up uh, ruthlessly. Uh, so I'm gonna get a couple photos of her and her unique shell, and I'm gonna let her go. Yep, good old fashioned power line run. Creek running through the middle of it. I'm actually gonna go up this way because it gets pretty straight sided right here. It's like they dug it out. Um, I mean, it's pretty deep there too. So taking the bank to get around a bulk of this and then get up to here where it looks like it goes back to being a normal creek. Not real sure why they dig it out, but apparently they did. Lined it with a bunch of rocks. Really kind of man-made the heck out of it. But up there looks good. Look at how cool this whole area is around this big set of stumps. Man, if I was a turtle, I'd hang out here just because it's so awesome looking. It's also a lot of direct sunlight, not a lot of places to hide, but it's still cool. Love the way the water is just flowing through here. It's kind of neat. Going back up in here. Looks like we get back to where the creek is a bit more normal, going back through the uh, woods. All right guys, that's it. Uh, had a good time. 
uh, had a fun few days out here looking for turtles, looking for reptiles. Um, it's, it's getting better and better every time I go out. So uh, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can catch these videos. Next week, I'm gonna be doing a special for World Turtle Day. So be sure to turn in, turn in, turn in, tune in. Be sure to check that one out when I post it. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.